Today is Tuesday, April 11th, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm Olivia Maniscalco. Here are today's top stories. Republican Congressman Brandon Williams is in Rome tonight for his second town hall with residents. Last night in Chittenango, he sparred with protesters over his opposition to an assault weapons ban. If you ban assault weapons, only criminals will have high-powered rifles. <laughs> Protesters in the auditorium waved those red cards whenever they disagreed with their representative. Williams spoke on a variety of topics for nearly an hour last night, and he'll do it again tonight. Citrus TV reporter Luke Radel will be live from Rome at 6 o'clock with more on the Congressman's Town Hall. And the Micron Project has a timeline. Micron executives were in Camillus yesterday where they hosted a town hall for community members. County Executive Ryan McMahon said they are currently completing the environmental review process. He said, quote, we will probably start some heavy technical work later this summer or spring, more to come on that, and then there will probably be some clearing of the site in the fall and then full-blown construction will be as soon as they can get going in 2024 after the winter. And a Texas man got his gun taken away at the Syracuse airport this weekend. According to federal officials, the man tried getting on a plane with the loaded weapon. Police confiscated the weapon after a TSA officer saw it in the checkpoint x-ray machine Saturday. The man told officials that he drove to New York State from his home in Texas and forgot that he had the gun on him. TSA says that firearms need to be in checked luggage and placed in the cargo area during a flight. And coming up on the other side of the now, the red hot chili peppers are coming to central New York. Stick with us. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. The Red Hot Chili Peppers are performing at the JMA Wireless Dome this Friday. The concert is a part of their Global Stadium Tour, which is in support of the band's 12th and 13th studio albums. Accompanying the band will be King Princess and The Strokes. The concert begins at 6.30 and doors will open at 4.30. And if you still want to buy tickets, you can. Get them online or in person at the box office at the Dome. And there is a possibility of wildfires in upstate New York. The National Weather Service has issued a wildfire alert for almost the whole state. An unseasonably warm and dry spell combined with strong winds is raising the danger. Any dry gases, dead leaves, and other tree litter should spread could, could sorry spread fire quickly. We urge you to exercise caution when handling an ignition source. Weaker winds and increased humidity in the next couple of days will lessen the risk of fire, wildfires. It's going to be hot outside. Citrus TV weather anchor Ronnie Perillo is in studio with those temperatures. Olivia, thanks so much. Well, hot is certainly the word to use, not even warm. Temperatures over the next few days will actually reach the mid-80s. That's typical of mid-July here in Syracuse, never mind mid-April. But right now we're sitting at 72 degrees out here in the Salt City under a blanket of clouds. Those clouds not producing anything really in the way of rain, more so just a nuisance. Uh, but tonight things will clear up 50 degrees for your low, so it's a great night to take one of those night drives, open up the sunroof, blast the music. I think uh, if I have some time off from doing some work, I might do that myself. And take a look at this three-day forecast. I mean, this is like the equivalent of a gold trophy. 82 degrees for your Thursday, 84 on Friday. And tomorrow, not looking too shabby, at 76 degrees. All three days, we're going to see sunshine across our region, so nothing in the way of precipitation. No rain. The humidity will remain low, so it is just the perfect time to uh, get outside. Can't wait to see everyone out on campus. Olivia, back over to you. Thank you, Ronnie. I am loving those temperatures. Coming up on News Live at 6, reporter Adam Campos is giving us a deeper look at DPS and their response to a recent shooting hoax. And that's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Olivia Maniscalco. The news continues in an hour.